okay so now what i intend to cover on this channel is not that um the game the, this 2k game is is uh flawed or that or you know that's not necessarily the purpose not in that way it's to cover how it is deliberately coded to do the things that I cover in regards to how how much it um, quote unquote cheats the user a lot of times, right? Because it's actually it's actually been thoroughly coded and, and well thought out how to cheat the user without looking obviously like you're cheating the user. So now right here is a great example of that because a lot of times what occurs is that certain scenarios they trigger certain codes to force something to happen or to prevent something from happening right and that's that's uh that's like the foundation of how to get this done so now look at this right here i go for a rebound and it probably wasn't uh greatly timed but i still should have gotten it right i still should have gotten it because it comes down it's right in my man's face right it hits his arm it goes through his arm right so so the game it it knows to make something tangible or intangible it knows to make the ball or a certain player tangible or intangible meaning that it could it could trigger you to be um invincible or or you know transparent where something could just go right through you or it could trigger it to where um you're not, you know, something that's not going to be allowed to just go straight through your body, right? It, 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 it determines when that sort of thing happens. It's not just glitching, right? Allegedly. This is just my perspective on this game. It's not just glitching, right? So now it goes through his arm and it comes down and then it hits uh, Highland's knee. And now it comes back my way, but then it goes through my knee, right? You see this, right? And it goes right to the computer. This was all. This was this was something that was meant to happen. It was meant to go down this way because the game is basically saying, "What? You're not getting this rebound." That's just the bottom line. It's not. It's not in our narrative right now for you to get that. Same way how you could reach for you could reach for a ball and your hand to go right through it, even though you timed it or you would time it to to cut a uh, to cut something off and the ball to go right. Uh, the ball handler be dribbling the ball and to go right through your leg, right through your arm, even though you press the button to steal it, and your your body physically made contact with it. But if the if the coding is not being triggered, if the algorithm is not going to allow it, you're not going to get it, right? So now he gets the ball, obviously, and he passes out, and they get a wide open three, practically wide open three, right? This is exactly what I'm saying. Now, none of that was really supposed to have ever happened because what happens if you're playing or really in any other uh, scenario where this right here happens, you would eventually get a hold of the ball, right? Because it hit you where it fell on your arm. You know, you're going to grab the ball, especially if we're talking about real life basketball. You're going to you're going to yoke that up, right? You may have not gotten a perfect grab on it, but who's in between you and the ball to prevent you from getting it right now? But with 2K, they do this whole pinball thing where... The ball could just ricochet off of everything, off of every player on the court and just somehow and, and it just miraculously land in the computer's lap. Right? This is this is a scripted and it doesn't go through the computer though. It doesn't just bounce off the computer. It doesn't just go through him. It goes right when it gets to him, it lands right perfectly for him to get it. This is all contrived, it's scripted. Right? The game, the game is doing that intentionally. It's not. Uh, just that it's glitching or that it's messing up. That's the whole point that I make in these videos, right? It's just to show how whoever it is in charge or responsible for programming or coding this game is well thought out how to um, basically to put it to put it plainly is well thought out how to cheat. It's not necessarily that they care that you win or lose uh, uh, necessarily, but they're doing this for the purpose of trying to to make the game feel like a challenging and competitive environment and it's really not right it's not really based upon that it's based upon the algorithm narratives triggering different codes to, to pop up or to not pop up and that's how they get a lot of this done it's, 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 it's a, and that's why it's so 
a lot of people they find it difficult to even stomach 2k nowadays because it's like you're playing in a script you're not really allowed the freedom of getting around the court and doing your thing you're playing according you're you're playing within a script that you have the ability to um what's the word i'm looking for you have you have the ability to, to kind of you got wiggle room within the script you can break out of it right you can do some impromptu shit like if you ever look at actors uh <laughs> uh in film a lot of times they're, they're given certain lines but then you know they they could you know kind of come up with their own shit it's kind of how this is working right you're you're playing within a a general narrative that's already laid out but you still do have the ability to kind of uh uh great character or, or to, you know or to have your own influence on the outcome of the game especially in certain games where it's obviously that you're scripted to lose it but you can still win it right if you're if you're doing what's necessary but but the game does not want you to win it's, it's scripted that way but that'll do it for this video peace